Hey guys, this is your pharmacist Citra and welcome to another lesson of Pharmacy Tech Study Guide. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the Tech Check Tech system. This is a program that's actually getting a lot of popularity in the inpatient pharmacy setting. This regulation was first enacted by the California Board of Pharmacy on January 5th. 2007. Now, pharmacy technicians have been used in the hospital setting in California for decades, I would say, and their role has been expanding every day. Check tech regulation is really one of the extension of the uh, pharmacy techs. And this uh, program actually allows general acute care hospitals to employ uh, specially trained technicians to perform daily uh, non-judgmental pharmacy functions like check medication cassettes filled by other technicians or maybe check the refill medication dispensed by a technician. In other words, it's a system of medication verification where one technician actually checks the work of another technician. Now, here's why this system is so important. Because, see, historically, any function performed by a pharmacy technician, uh, you know, relative to dispensing of a prescription had to be verified and documented in writing by a pharmacist. But this regulation actually enables the hospital pharmacists to devote their time to the activities which are designed to reduce uh, errors such as they can work closely with the doctors and nurses in order to evaluate any medications. They can also ensure, um, you know, there are no drug allergies or drug interactions for the patients. You know, pharmacists can also now be more involved in the medication therapy management and just overall spend more time on clinical services like patient care and safety when they are freed up from just checking the technician work all the time. Now, here's an interesting fact. A study published in the American Journal of Health System in 2002 actually showed that the accuracy rate um, of technicians was 99.89%, which was actually higher than the accuracy rate of the pharmacists, which was like 99.32%. Um, Another study showed that the pharmacists who worked in the presence of Tech Check Tech program were performing more direct patient care services and physician consultation services. So this system in general has been really proven to be very safe and effective verification system. Now, per the regulation, the Tech Check Tech program is only allowed in the acute care inpatient hospital settings, not in the retail sec setting. And in this uh, program, the technicians can only check the filling of a floor and ward uh, stock and unit dose distribution systems. And they can also only, uh, you know, for the hospital patients who whose orders have been previously reviewed and approved by the licensed pharmacist. Like they can check just the refill orders, like the renewal orders, not the new orders. The new orders must be checked by the pharmacist as well. Also, the compounded or repackaged products must have been previously checked by the pharmacist. You know, if they're not checked by the pharmacist, then a tech cannot tech another check's work. The overall operation of the program is actually, you know, the responsibility of the pharmacist in charge and the parameters for the direct super VN are also specified by the facilities, um, you know, hospitals, policies and procedure. The facility must have written policies and procedures uh, which describe what uh, can be done and what cannot be done in the tech check tech process. Now, this process includes the technician uh, checker and the tech check tech coordinator. The technician checker is an individual who has completed the uh, tech check tech, which is also called TCT uh, validation process and is currently authorized to check another technician's work. And the checking technician may not check, you know, his or hers own work. And it kind of makes sense, right? 
The tech check tech coordinator is the pharmacist who is responsible for assuring that all the legal requirements of this TCT program are met. And this person could be the pharmacist in charge, a pharmacy supervisor, or any designated pharmacist on duty. Now, later in the video, I'll talk more about this process. For now, let's move on. And we'll understand that the TCT system is not used in every state of the United States. But at least 15 states in US have now implemented laws permitting the practice of this program. Uh, and the three states that I know for sure uh, implement this program are Texas, uh, California, and also Minnesota is one of them. Now, allowance of this program is, uh, you know, approved by the individual state board of pharmacy once the state approves this program, then the health facility applies for the license uh, to use it. And if the state approves the application, then the health facility may use the program, but only if the facility has a plan in place for very stringent uh, technician testing. Uh, that's the procedure for the health facility. But what about the technician? What do you as a pharmacy tech need to do to become a part of the TCT program? Now, first and foremost, you must have a pharmacy tech license or certification. You must have at least one year of work experience as a certified pharmacy technician. Also, you must have a one-on-one -on -one specialized and advanced training with pharmacist. You also have to pass a written test, which is taken by the institution, not the board. But this test is basically to prove that you have the um, educational and didactic capability to become a technician checker. Also, um, you have to pass a validation process. Now, the validation uh, process is in waves. There is an initial validation and an ongoing quality audits, which are performed quarterly in the first year. And then um, these audits are performed every six months. Now, although this program is very useful in some areas of pharmacy, however, it cannot be used in all aspects. I mean, it's not all in one <laughs> program. For example, a technician, may not check the work of an, another technician when it comes to uh, you know, compounding of IVs or any chemotherapy drugs, any specialized medication or any other high risk medications. Also, like I said before, any new medications or let's say if the dose of the medication has been changed, so th those are some caveats. Like it, like I said, it's a non-judgmental and repetitive process. Like you can only check the refill work and you can also check like a non-judgmental work like filling off cassettes, filling off the unit dose, things like that. But still, you know, anything helps. When it gets super crazy busy in the pharmacy, me being the pharmacy manager, I know how crazy it can get. So really anything helps so and also this is like a great career advancement opportunity for a text which i'm going to mention in a little bit but for now let's talk about the process um like what's the process like uh let's say a pharmacy technician fills the medication for the unit dose or you know fills any automated uh, medication system now a validated technician checker uh, may check the accuracy of unit dose batches or um, automated uh, medication distribution uh, system restocks. Also, the technician checker then reviews the medications for the correct drug, correct dosage form, correct dose, quantity, and also reviews the expiration date. Now, if a filling error is found, the technician checker uh, records that, like make a record of that error and the product is then given back to the technician who originally filled it or if he or she is not available, then give it to another technician to uh, fix it. The technician then corrects the error and the uh, technician checker then checks that correction. 
Finally, a pharmacist or another validated technician checker must check any dose uh, corrected or filled by the technician checker. Now, if a validated checker is not available, then all the doses are checked by the pharmacist uh, and then this process continues until all doses are checked. So really this is a good like replacement for the pharmacist and if that tech check tech uh, you know person is available uh, then definitely that frees up that pharmacist in that span of time to do other clinical services another thing to remember is that if a technician does not pro perform the tct duties for more than 6 months then that technician um, has to be revalidated just remember when using the tct program the pharmacy and the pharmacy um, technician must operate within the confines of their state board of pharmacy you know any violation of these regulations result in the discontinuation of the program that's not only a bad thing for the technician but for the facility as well because they're not just taking your uh, you know title of the tech check tech but they're also taking the whole program from the facility you know but overall in general i would say this program you know continues to grow as an institutional practice and is really a great career opportunity um, if you do wish to expand your career as a pharmacy tech just remember if you do work as a technician checker never ever overlook the policies and guidelines set by the institution or your state board of pharmacy just because the backlogged workflow or it's busy because you may put the safety of the patients at risk and when working in pharmacy patient safety is everything and above everything and on that note I'd like to wrap up today's video. If you have any questions or lecture suggestions, write them in the comments. You can also find more information regarding Tech Check Tech uh, program on your specific State Board of Pharmacy website. And I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, uh, write them in the comments. I always look forward to them. And stay tuned to watch more videos on Pharmacy Tech Study Guide.